It's morning and I'm making um, French toasting waffles. So this is another will it French toast. Let's see if we can French toast some waffles. It's, did a lot of pre prep. So we got some Eggo waffles. Because I don't have a waffle iron at home. How sinful of me. Putting it in my batter of egg, vanilla, cinnamon, and pie spices. Make sure it soaks in a good load of that batter. And then we're moving that over into a buttered pan. Can we get both of them in at once? Maybe. Let's give it a try, shall we? That's our batter. Make sure we get a good, thorough coating. Yes, I'm cooking in barefoot. A little extra batter left. I could probably use a couple other waffles for this, but I am just winging it right here. Got one flipped over. Well, that was sloppy, but functional, I guess. Now let's see if we can see at the bottom of each of these cells to see if it's cooked all the way through. Because I do think that's one of the things to have to watch out for, is to make sure that there's no raw batter at the bottom of each of these individual waffle cavities. Looks pretty good. But if you need to, you can always put a cover on top of it to let it cook through in a space with heating above and below. All right, here are the French toasted waffles. Mm. It's, it doesn't have any of the crunchiness that I like in a good waffle, but it has a similarity to French toast, although it's a little more thickly bready. It's it's not like a it's not like a light fluffy bread, but it's like a um, cakey. It's similar to the pancakes in a lot of ways. A cakey bread filling. But I will try some of my orange cranberry syrup that I made from some juices, and I will get back to you with my syrup. It's a very thin syrup, so it's it's not a. I I could probably cook it, and reduce it to thin it down a little bit, but I think it soaks in better this way. Mm. I think that's a pretty good way of making a French toast with syrup holding pockets in it. Last bite of the French toasted waffle. And I got some more on my screen. I gotta really work on a better way to do that. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty good way if you use a ready-made waffle. If you make your own waffles, and then make French toast out of your homemade waffles, there's probably more labor than it's really worth. But it also depends heavily on whether or not the syrup is one that you're interested in pursuing further. If it's a good syrup that you're using, this is a vehicle for 
syrup with those extra pockets in it. So does it French toast? Yes. It's a very special kind of French toast, specifically for specific kind of French toasting. But, yep, give it a go. Try it at least once.